rights of people to access sufficient food for nourishment and to define their own food systems are constantly being challenged by burgeoning population, dwindling land and water resources, and other mighty forces of nature. Amidst this scenario, the demand for animal-derived food products, such as meat and milk, remains high and is projected to increase in the years to come. Well, for the last 20 years, we have established the foundation of the Carabao Development Program. It's basically focused on uh, creating the desired genetics. The Philippine Carabao Center, or PCC, whose mandate was enunciated by law, works along the area of producing high-quality milk and meat products, as well as in improving the lives of the rural farmers and in addressing the concerns of the Carabao-based industries. From changing lives underground and engaging previously subsistent rural families for increased productivity, the PCC today shifts to a bold approach of transcending boundaries for inclusive development for the greater benefit of the industry, stakeholders, and the environment in which PCC productivity operates. The PCC is geared up to a new challenge of venturing into an all-encompassing research shift that of pursuing R4D research for development for the holistic well-being of not only the people it serves, but also of the environment and the changing scenarios in human and animal lives as well as the lives of the communities and the nation. This gallant stand will be made possible with the apparatus, system, its scientists and the men and women and the resolve established. The Carabao Development Program, designed as the PCC's blueprint, of course, aligns the agency's site towards its mission. It sets the frontier in which PCC as a premier research for development institution operates. Genetic transformation of the Philippine Carabao for superior milk and meat production is the overall goal of the Genetic Improvement Program, a system for the selection, propagation, and evaluation of breeds and genetic improvement strategy is actively being implemented. It is calculated to lead toward the development of superior animals that are economically important in the production scheme. Selection and propagation are enhanced using DNA markers, applicable reproductive biotechnologies and techniques, and DNA-based methodologies. This is performed both on the native and purebred buffaloes. Animals with the best quality genetics are utilized for massive upgrading of swamp buffaloes in the country through artificial insemination or AI. AI services are being carried out through an army of technicians from the local government units, DA regional field units, and PCC under Dairy Herd Improvement and Enterprise Development Program. In addition, PCC capacitates barefoot technicians, now called village-based artificial insemination technicians who trod remote areas, valleys, hills, mountains, and difficult trails to reach breedable carabao owners. On the other hand, farmers in some other remote geographical locations may avail of the bull loan program launched by the PCC to sustain its GIP. Other reproductive biotechnologies such as the embryo production and transfer technology are utilized to complement AI. The distinct traits of native or indigenous carabao, however, is ensured of not getting lost in the frenzy of upgrading and improving breeds. Female native carabaos of superior qualities are continuously subjected to performance analysis and selection. For future generation, genetic materials of important livestock species in the form of semen, oocytes, embryos, somatic cells, and DNA are conserved. Animal genetic resource, cryobanking, is applied to protect animal genetic diversity. The milk, of course, is, uh, can be translated into income. The, the benefits of, of the farmers is the income that can be derived from the sale of milk and milk products, and of course, sale of animals. It uh, contributed uh, directly to the daily income of the farmers, contributing like 300 to 500 pesos a day. 
So that is the direct contribution of the PCC programs to the lives of the farmers. Development initiatives are ushered to farming families via established cooperatives, organizations or associations to have access to livelihood opportunities. As this is obtaining, industry models are established to showcase production, post-harvest and processing to marketing and distribution to various markets. Dairy farmers should be happy. Happy because uh, they, they have the they have the money to, to provide them the basic needs, the, the clothing, the, the food, the, the shelter, and of course, education of the children. They have to be happy, and they should, uh, they should enjoy the, the benefits from, from our dairy buffalo. As the lead agency in livestock biotechnology research puts premium importance on pursuing an aggressive human resource development program that redounds to the development of a competent workforce, the ultimate goal is to install and ensure an institutional strength along critical disciplines that require sound scientific interventions in areas such as breeding and genetics, reproductive biotechnology, animal health, nutrition and forage, product development, policy and socio-economics. The rationalization plan of the government uh, allow us to, to, to shift to a more important role in developing the animal industry. Uh, in the case of the buffalo, we want, to, we want to focus more on the industry gaps. We want to focus more on the, the farmers' uh, problems so that our researches will be directed to, to what they need, what they want, and uh, so that the result of researches will be, will be solving the problems of the farmers. Expert exchange program that provides the scientists opportunities to share their knowledge with and learn from the world's best is working to achieve desired result of keeping up with cutting edge competencies. Instituting strong and reliable partnership with relevant institutions in the world is also an important strategy for inclusive growth. While international collaborations are sustained, linkages with farmers, cooperatives, local governments and research institutions are continuously strengthened. As its human resource is honed, research facilities in the PCC Central Research Laboratories are updated to be at par with the advancement of competencies of its people. This agency's National Gene Pool, Livestock Biotechnology Center, and Cryobank of Animal Genetic Resources augment these facilities that are maintained at the national headquarters in the science city of Munoz in Nueva Ecija. For wider reach, PCC has established and strengthened regional centers throughout the country. In all its workings, PCC applies global standards and sustains its commitment to excellence through its compliance with the integrated systems of quality management, environmental management, and occupational health and safety, engaging in all possible researches that can directly contribute to the development of the livestock industry, particularly on improving the breeds of the swamp buffaloes, is the overall concern of the PCC in its strategic shift as a major development agent in a science-based community. The ultimate goal is for PCC to be an effective R4D agency, contributing to the competitiveness of the agricultural sector. The national R4D agenda aimed to directly contribute to the development of the buffalo industry and cover these thematic areas. In the leap forward, the commitment of PCC is grounded on the continuing assessment of the respective industries in livestock and other animals for human food. PCC is committed to carry out continuing and expanding initiative and intensified research-based enterprise buildup or the IREB in rural communities. The major focus is on organized and wide-scale genetic improvement program 
systematic extension in tech delivery and creation of favorable environment for enterprise development. Achievement of the set objectives and target is heavily grounded on a strength in human resource competencies and growing linkages and partnerships. As the new frontier unfold, which challenged the metal of PCC and its breakthroughs and many achievements attained so far. The agency is ready to take on a day-to-day -day battles while aggressively positioning itself as an important player in the world arena for dairy buffalo management and production. As it stands firm and remains sterling on its mission to install tangible benefits on the ground and in the lives of many, BCC vows to audaciously lead the livestock sector to a revolutionary inclusive growth for development. Yeah!